Thanks. Thanks. Lisa O'Sullivan, hi, and come hi. in. Come and take a seat. How can I help? Right, my foot. I'm getting real bad. I've rung up about the doctors before and they put me on painkillers. OK, so what are your symptoms at the moment? It's just going... From here, it's getting numb. Mm -hmm. And you just... It's going right the way down to my leg now. OK. And are you getting any pins and needles or numbness? I'm getting numbness. Yeah, and is that down the it's, outside it's getting, as well? Yeah. OK. And is it above and below the knee there? It, You're it's, it's going all the way it's down. Like, it's kind of... It goes from this place mm -hmm. and the right across my yeah. back here. Yeah. And then it'll go to the bottom of my leg. It's not usually the whole thing, but okay. it's getting so hard yeah. like, to get to places. OK. Does your leg feel weak at all? It does. It feels... It, it's really weird. It feels like as if it goes like a rock. Yeah. You know. OK. Um, and are you peeing OK, opening your bowels as per normal? You see, I'm getting a pain down here mm -hmm. when I'm trying to go to the toilet. Where, sorry? Just at the bottom, like, here. OK. All right. Um, I probably ought to just examine you, if that's OK. So when you're ready, come and take a seat up on the couch. OK. So this is cotton wool, so it should feel nice and soft. Yeah? yeah. That feel OK? So I'm just going to check both sides. Don't tell me if it feels the same on both sides. Can you feel me touching you there? Yeah. Yeah. Does it feel the same? It doesn't. It doesn't feel the same. This one's more sensitive, I'd say. Oh, really? Yeah. The only other thing I need to do, I just need to examine round the back passage, if that's OK, just to see if you can feel the sharp and the, and the cotton wool round there. <laughs> is that all right? Yeah. 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 We'll just pull the curtain. <laughs> OK, so it's a bit odd. The reason is um, it sort of has different meaning. I'm trying to work out which nerves are involved. Okay. And the nerves are right at the bottom of the back are the ones that feed round there. Right. So just got cotton wool here, first of okay. all. So I need to tell me if you can feel it, that's all. So can you feel that? I can't feel it on the other side as much. So which yeah, side? I can't feel, it on, can't side feel it on there. And now this one is a little bit sharp. I'm going to just yeah. very lightly touch you. Can you feel that? Yeah. And then on the other side. Feel that? No, not as much. It's very common for people with back pain uh, to get numbness or altered sensation in their legs. And it's usually caused by something irritating or pressing on the nerve roots as they leave the spinal cord. OK, so you're on quite a lot of painkillers. Um, and there is a little bit of loss of sensation around the back passage, actually. So I think what I'd quite like to do is I just want to kind of phone one of the surgeons um, at St George's and just okay. see if they want to see you today, if that's all right. OK, yep. When Lisa said that she couldn't feel me touching her with a cotton wool around her back passage, that can indicate something much more serious called corda equina syndrome. Corda equina syndrome is caused by something, usually a slipped disc, that presses on the nerve roots inside the spinal canal before they've left the spine. So it can cause much more extensive damage. Uh, and if left untreated, the patient can end up having permanent loss of sensation uh, in the legs, loss of function and doubly incontinent. If you keep your mobile handy, um, if I can get through to them now, I'll try now. Um, okay. And then I'll give you a ring as soon as I've spoken All to right. them. And they and might want you to go down there. What do you think it could be, then? Well, I'm just wondering whether there's something pressing on one of the nerves there, and that's what's causing so much pain going down okay. the side there. You all right? OK, thank you very much. That's OK. All right, okay, so I will well, be in touch uh, as soon as I've heard from St George's. I'll give you a ring, OK? okay thank you very much. All right, then, pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. On the day that I saw Lisa, I attempted to contact the neurosurgical team. Unfortunately, there was no answer, so I sent Lisa to A&E because she needed to be seen and assessed urgently that same day. When she got to A&E, she did have an MRI scan, which confirmed my clinical suspicions. She did have corda equina syndrome, and then she had the operation before she suffered permanent neurological damage. <laughs> 